welcome you to the KNX a discussion on managing building energy. And my special guest today is Yost Demers, who's the CTO at KNX. Welcome, Yost. Thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. Well, you know, to uh, to start, you know, I wanted to quote Nikola Tesla, who said, "If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration." So today, let's bring the universe closer to home, and we'll talk about energy, because according to the International Energy Association, buildings account for nearly one-third of all the global final energy consumption and 55% of global electricity demand. So this demand growth in buildings has been particularly rapid over the last 25 years, accounting for 65% of the, the total growth uh, globally. So now KNX has been engaged in energy from day one. So what has changed? How has KNX adapted to those changes? And how do we see our energy issues in smart home and smart building? Yost. Okay, well, that's uh, a quite, quite a question. So uh, now for the answer. I think uh, indeed, as you correctly point out, uh, KNX uh, did indeed, uh, uh, was indeed, uh, a means of um, uh, achieving energy efficiency in buildings. Because if you look at uh, traditional buildings, uh, there uh, indeed there are yeah, not a lot of ways uh, to achieve uh, energy efficiency. Uh, so uh, by turning a building smart, uh, be it a home or a larger size building, uh, you can indeed uh, reduce uh, consumption uh, to uh, the needs in a particular area of that building. So say you have an office building uh, and uh, the office is uh, um, uh, not occupied by uh, staff members, then indeed it doesn't make sense to uh, heat up the room or cool uh, the room uh, in summer. And that's what KNX did since day one, and that is providing the uh, products that uh, allow a building to uh, be energy efficient. But the world is changing out there, and because of uh, uh, increasing energy prices, uh, uh, a thing that we are experiencing now as we speak, uh, there is also uh, not only a focus on not consuming energy, but also proactively uh, uh, um, uh, yeah, estimating what the energy consumption will be and what the energy production, the local energy production will be, and to try to bring that into sync. Uh, so to, uh, as to uh, be completely independent uh, from uh, supplies that come from the grid. Uh, so uh, if uh, a building can manage uh, to produce the energy it consumes, then this would be the perfect balance. So we have moved, I think, from just ensuring energy efficiency, so reducing consumption, towards a trying to balance uh, uh, production to consumption. And this, of course, is absolutely a very good advance in our way of looking at energy. And uh, I think it also helps us address the overall issue of climate change and sustainability in general. Indeed, so indeed. let's see, an energy management system using KNX allows a system to supply uninterrupted energy according to the needs of the user at any given time. Can you tell us more about how this works and what solutions KNX has for energy management? Yes. Uh, okay. um, yeah. If we if we look at traditional uh, KNX, uh, then in the very early days, uh, one of the main uh, one of the main uh, applications in KNX was individual room control. Uh, so, uh, in a section of the building or even up to the room, uh, try to uh, uh, consume there uh, what is really needed. Uh, so not heating up the whole 
house or he whole building, uh, but indeed only uh, consuming locally what uh, is locally really needed. Uh, and by doing that by means of thermostats and uh, valves uh, that open up heating circuits or cooling circuits. Or, uh, for instance, also, well, um, uh, there is a saying, uh, measure, measuring is, uh, is wisdom. Uh, so if you know uh, what you consume, then uh, maybe you can do something about it. And uh, even you can find sources where you consume energy, which is actually not needed. Uh. So uh, by actually also linking up KNX to metering and sub-metering, uh, we, uh, or KNX, has over time uh, uh, been uh, better capable uh, of managing consumption because we actually measure uh, what is being consumed in the individual sections of the building. And our members have also come up with uh, products that actually allow you to measure the energy consumption up to the level of a circuit. Uh, so uh, think of a 10-fold uh, um, uh, actuator uh, with 10 different energy circuits, be it lighting or be it something else, it uh, controls. Uh, up to the level of the circuit, you can know what actually is being consumed or even better, you can even say, okay, uh, uh, in order to save that or that and that amount of energy, I'm able to switch off this and that and that circuit, and this will actually uh, uh, give me a reduction in my energy consumption of so, mu so much percent. So uh, uh, all of this is possible with uh, uh, traditional uh, KNX. Right down to the circuit level, which is impressive. Yes. Yes. And, and I thought for a moment there, Joost, you're, you know, when you're talking about measuring and consumption, I was thinking about some of my friends' bar habits and how they should perhaps <laughs> measure what they're consuming uh, in more detail. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's we'll, a good we'll advice. Try, it's, it's, we'll try to make a device for that as well. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, KNX has, has also been extended with new application domains, which are expected to grow in the near future. W what are some of those apps? What are they like? Yeah. So if you're talking about energy consumption uh, and also energy efficiency and especially energy management, then you must be able to also look at uh, uh, ways of storing energy and managing the storage of that uh, of that energy. So, say your solar panels are uh, producing a lot of energy, uh, which you do not want to feed into the grid, but you would uh, would like to save for later. Then you could ask your storage, uh, 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 depending, of course, on the uh, available capacity because you know, your system knows that, you could say, okay, I've got a lot of surplus energy, I will store that into my battery storage. And also, a very large consumer in homes and buildings in the future will be the e-car. So, charging stations, uh, charging stations, we will need to control them, uh, we will need to know uh, what their needs are, and we will, uh, if we want to bring consumption and production in sync, uh, then we will need this uh, central intelligence that says, okay, I've got surplus energy, so my car needs this uh, surplus energy, so I will not feed that into the grid, I will immediately provide that to my e-car. So, these uh, these um, uh, products are now, we are now seeing uh, uh, the emergence of these products. We have a larger uh, size uh, storage uh, manufacturer who is already has its first KNX controllable storage device. And we also see 
uh, manufacturers offering uh, gateways to uh, uh, popular brands of charging stations uh, to be able to indeed uh, uh, feed into the KNX system data from this uh, uh, station and indeed also control this uh, uh, the charging of your e -car. You know, you wouldn't have thought some years ago that we'd be talking about the car in, in such close terms and uh, to the smart home, and uh, you know, and yet the the development of the the let's call it the smart car, the electric car, the development of that depends very much on us solving these problems about uh, charging the cars and having them readily available and linked to our homes. So the future of the car is linked to the home and the future of the home is linked to the car. It's, yeah, it's it, a win-win situation. It's a win-win situation and, and quite an interesting development in, in that. Um, I, I wanted to mention at this point for the audience, yes, you, you have a presentation that has some more technical uh, details and stuff. Perhaps we can put the link in the chat and, yes. and then people can uh, have that as a reference point in that. Uh, but let, let's ask about some recent projects and energy management experience that you've had with KNX. Does anything come to mind that we can share? Yes. Uh, well, I would like to share uh, a larger size project, which will become uh, actually the largest uh, airport in the world, uh, where uh, on the it's currently on the drawing table. Uh, it's uh, going to be uh, finalized by normally 2027. Uh, that's the Al uh, Maktoum International Airport, which will be in the Dubai World Central. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, there, uh, the intention is that also KNX will be used for such uh, applications like metering light like uh, data logging like visualization current detection use of renewable energies etc so this larger sized uh, size uh, project is also looking at knx as one of the building bricks to ensure energy efficiency and also energy management so not only today but also tomorrow uh, knx uh, apparently has uh, the uh, the necessary um, advantages to convince uh, even such larger size projects. Well, that is an, an incredible project. Actually, I've been following a bit as a journalist, and uh, that is an extremely large project. So that's uh, an impressive thing. The um, you know we we have a few minutes extra here. You know, and I, I thought maybe we could address you know when you have people in the audience that you know are, are not as familiar with KNX as some of your regular membership, which is quite extensive, you know, how do you think they, they should best engage and get involved? Because energy management is so important. If they're not already engaged in it, they sh should be able to come to KNX and find their way to some help, right? Yes. Yeah. So it all depends, of course, what kind of... Uh person we are addressing here uh, so is the person a user so if uh, if the person wants to use the knx technology then the best way to enter knx is by visiting the e-campus uh, so our online training platform the online tra training platform uh, tells you all the small tips and tricks uh, on how actually to put together a knx installation uh, and how to do that with the common uh, uh, ETS uh, design and configuration tool. Uh, so that, that's, this small uh, uh, training course will help you uh, already to understand that. And energy management is just one of these possible products you can integrate into your uh, KNX installation. Uh, so uh, apart from Many other applications like lighting, like uh, um, uh, sun shading, like heating, ventilation, air conditioning, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If you are a manufacturer, uh, if you are a manufacturer, then you can simply visit our KNX website, 
uh, go to my KNX, which is our web portal, and just uh, create an account and download the KNX specifications. And then this is a uh, this is a, an open book of all the different possibilities that exist to make a product that is based on twisted pair or has wireless communication or even uh, uh, uses IP net, n networks to communicate as we are now currently working on the extension KNX IoT that will allow you to even uh, use IP networks just to uh, exchange your uh, KNX data between your different KNX applications. And the other thing that's been impressive you know, in the past and, and probably still so is your community of members who help one another and actually uh, share information and work together. Yes, yes, yes. We are actually for the KNX IoT point API uh, extension. We are, this is quite a revolution in KNX, uh, but we are now working on an open stack solution. So uh, instead of, well, for KNX Classic, one had to design from the specifications. In future, you will be able to design based on an open software stack that is available for anybody out there. That's qu quite an advancement and I think it quite an opportunity for many of the listeners out there. I'm going to once again suggest that we put the link to your presentation on technical specifications into the chat so the audience can get it. And I, I have a little summary here, Yost, that I, I wanted to give, but is there any other message you wanted to give and share to the people today on, on managing energy with KNX? I think uh, um, the interview should have brought across that um, while well, KNX never sleeps uh, and uh, KNX constantly evolves because it listens to the demands of the market uh, and we used to uh, be concentrated on energy efficiency. There's a need for energy management. So we, uh, we continue to develop new ways of solving that. Uh, so, and also with KNX IoT, there will be more possibilities uh, than there used to be with KNX Classic. So I think that should be the message uh, that uh, I tried to uh, bring across today. Well, you did an excellent job, Joost, and, and thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for you know uh, allowing us to, to pick your brain a little bit today. I, I'd like to conclude with a, an observation and just talk about the pace of digitalization in the energy sector is increasing. It results in improving safety, productivity, accessibility, and the uh, ability to help us with the climate change. In addition, the public awareness of living in a more sustainable world has increased in a way that's changing markets, causing new business models to emerge. And KNX is already dealing with this new reality and offering an exciting range of energy management applications, devices, and solutions. Please take a look at the uh, technical presentation from Yoast with the technical specifications. Thank you very much. Thanks, Yoast. Okay, you're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.